Hello, welcome to Rybrook Jaguar in Warrington, uh, Jason Courtney speaking. Here we have for you today a 2006 Jaguar X-Type 2 litre diesel sport estate car. As you can see the registration of this car is DA06NCN and the car has done 120,522 miles. It's in Zircon Blue Metallic, so lovely colour. Very pretty car and as you can see with the 18 inch sports performance wheels on. There are a few marks in this car but we will go through that with you now. So, started off on the offside front wing. A couple of little scratches, you can see there's a little scratch there. And also just a couple of faint scratches just on the top of the wing. Front tyres on around three millimetres. That wheel will need a refurbishment as you can see. Looking down the side of the car, driver's door seems okay. There is one or two parking dents which you can see on there. So there's slight rippling in, in, in that door. Apart from that, it seems okay. And then the offside rear quarter looks okay. There is a little bit of blistering just on this window surround. I wouldn't have thought that'd be too expensive. Rear wheel, as you can see on there, that will also require a refurbishment as well. That rear tire, great tire depth on there. We're looking best part of six millimeters on there. Very faint scuff on the plastic bumper, only minor. Looking at the back of the car, Again, it is the two litre diesel, so it's a five speed manual gearbox and it is the X-Type Estate. As you can see there, we do have reversing sensors. Let's have a look in the boot. Good size boot, we have got the tannoy cover, as you can see. And underneath here, we have the locking wheel nut key and we do have a space saver spare wheel as well. There are two ways of opening the boot. You've got that section or you've got just the glass section as well. All that works absolutely perfect as it should be. Coming around to the near side of the car, very minor bumper scuff on the corner of the bumper. Uh, again, local smart repair will sort that out. Looking on the near side rear wing, it's absolutely fine. Again, a little bit of blistering, as you can see on that lower window surround. Rear tire again, great, but that wheel, that wheel will require a refurbishment. Coming down the near side of the car, again there are one or two chips on these doors and a couple of faint scratches. Nothing serious, I've got to say for 120,000 miles, uh, this car is, is exceptionally clean on the outside. Uh, but again, it, it obviously will need some preparation work. Looking at that near side front wheel, the tyre, again great tyre depth, probably 6mm on there. And as you can see, that wheel will require a refurbishment. So all four wheels on this car will need to be refurbished. Looking at the front of the car. As you can see, one or two, well, there's quite a few chips on the front of that. Again, 120,000 miles, I think you'd expect that anyway, but I'm just obviously making uh, making sure we're aware. And then on the bonnet, as well as you can see, there are stone chips on the bonnet as well, apart from that. Uh, on the outside, looks pretty much okay. So coming on to the inside of this car, it's with it being the Sport, it's half leather and half suede trim. These seats will need a good clean. Unfortunately, they are a little bit grubby, as you can see. Uh, but again, it, I think it's just obviously uh, sort of. Uh, uh, I don't. It's not. It will come out, so it'll be fine. You can see that there is wet on these seats here as well. All four electric windows, obviously electric mirrors. Looking inside the car. So we've got climate control, air conditioning, and we've got a CD player as well. Uh, it has the piano black dash, so it's not the wood dash, with it being the sport version. Again, inside it does look really sporty as well. So we do have, as you can see, two keys for this car. So just to let you know, um, when we start this car up, which I'll show you now, it has an, an intermittent fault. So let's just see what, we, what happens now. So we start the car up. So as you can see, the car has started up. Absolutely perfect. There are no warning lights on this car whatsoever. We can also see that the mileage is 120,522 miles. Now, where it becomes interesting, for some reason, every now and then when we start this car up, maybe two, three, maybe the second or the third attempt uh, uh, on different occasions, uh, sometimes it will struggle to start, but once it does start, it idles really low. Now, the car has been put through our workshop and they've suggested that potentially it could be one of the, the, uh, the injectors that aren't working properly. So just to bear that in mind, potentially, uh, this vehicle may need to have a new uh, injector. So although it's, as you can see, it starts absolutely fine now, no warning lights, no nothing. 
occasionally when you do start the car it does run really rough so again you can start the car two minutes later and it runs absolutely perfect so like i say potentially this car may need to have uh, a new injector or whatever it is we haven't diagnosed it um, uh, fully however that's what they think that it is so uh, any problems please give me a call on 01925 247 900 and happy bidding thank you